Hey, Shalom family, Most High in Christ, bless Officer Yehoshua, IUIC, Virginia. We got boots on the ground in Roanoke, Virginia. We're on the west side of the state. This is uncharted territory, untapped ground. All right, we breaking ground. This is day two. All right, we did St. Patrick's Day Parade earlier today on day two. Now we live at camp. The first camp spot in Roanoke is established as of today. All right, the word is going out strong. We had brothers called a hotline. They came out the camp. The camp is building up. It's starting to get hot. All right, so we're going to go check out Captain Yawanathan. He's bringing out the word strong. All praises to the Most High. Any heathen woman to be like Ruth? Or is Ruth the only person that could be like Ruth? What was significant about Ruth? That she was Naomi's hand slave, right? She had a child for Naomi, right? But she was a Moabite, correct? Right. Right. So, so this is what I'm asking you. Because before I came into the truth, and before God cracked my understanding, I had a child by a woman outside the Israelite nation. Can any woman in, in this day and age, is there such thing? What is Ruth? What is Ruth? Does she get into Ruth? the kingdom? Yes or no? No. No, exactly. No, it's not, it's not, exactly. it's not, it's the, the kingdom of heaven is not for other. Get Daniel 2. The kingdom of heaven will not be left to other people. It's only for the Israelites. It's only for the Israelites. Now, what is their capacity in the kingdom? Let's get it, right? So they will be there. Okay. They will be there. Yeah, absolutely. But, 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 but. Nito. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. The Edomites gone. After, After a thousand years gone. Yes. Not yes. one of them. Correct. Zero. Zero. I hear somebody. Oh. Okay. Watch this. I'm gonna show you. Watch this. Uh, Daniel 2 first. Yes. Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people so a kingdom that is to never be destroyed is an immortal or eternal kingdom right and it shall not what and it shall not be left to other people so just us will have it watch this but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms right so all these kingdoms will have to submit to one kingdom right so now let's get isaiah for it was that it on that uh, a little bit come on and it shall stand forever and it shall stand forever so this is not talking about some kingdom between now and the king now and the kingdom this is talking about the kingdom all right and it's an eternal immortal kingdom let's get isaiah 14. watch this the book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1 For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob So the mercy that is to be had will be for Jacob Read And will yet choose Israel He will yet choose Israel Come on because it don't look like we're chosen Right and The whole world thinks that we're not chosen You're Just niggas look at them Roaches out here right But God says the Bible says he will yet choose us No matter what it looks like he will yet choose Israel Come on and set them in their own land and set them them in their own land come on and the strangers it's gonna be strangers right come on shall be joined with them they're gonna be joined with us watch and they shall cleave to the house of jacob they're gonna cleave to the israelites right to the house of jacob come on and the people shall take them and the house of jacob shall take them shall that's a commandment is going to happen come on and bring them to their place and we're going to bring them to our place right come on and the house of israel shall possess them in the land of the lord for servants and handmaids so they'll be there but their capacity will be slavery 
servants, handmaids. That would be their capacity. So, so, okay, because like I said, the truth became different. I was literally having, when God cracked my understanding, the mother of my child was like, oh, I'm pregnant, right? But she eat a mite, right? And so, but think about it, I don't know nothing. So like, but as I'm like, and then I started getting yeah. confused because yeah. I uh, read um, where one prophet went to the people and he was really upset yeah, because they was mingling. Yeah. And he ripped his hair out of his he head. He ripped his hair out. He ripped. They, he beat their ass. Okay. Out there. Yeah. And made them swear that they won't do that again. And they get rid of the heathen and the children they made with them. Okay. I'm not telling you to do that, but no, I'm just saying. But this, yeah. so, but this is what get I'm rid, saying. I'll, get rid of the heathen woman, but I. What you do with your child, that's up to you. Okay. Because your child is your seed. Okay, but. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it says to put away the women and the children, correct? Yes. So a man that has, an Israelite man that has children with an heathen woman, mm -hmm. he puts away that child? No, listen. No. So, what ha so, so I I, I'm, like I said, I'm not telling you what to do. All I know, if, if, if that child begins to be an issue like say for instance you put away the baby you put away the baby's mother right uh -huh. and she now gives you a makes life a living hell make it hard for you to walk with god make it hard for you to keep the commandments then you tell me what you got to do to please god i will have to uh separate that's what you have to do so that's your call because, to make, right? because because the scripture says that okay Say the heathen woman don't follow no religion, Good. right? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. No, I'm listening to okay. you. Okay, so, 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 I'm not making excuses. I know I can't no, be I got with you. this I got woman, you. right? Yeah, I'm but listening. I, I got to ask you real questions, yeah. guys, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Say she don't follow no religion, right? right? Because right. the scripture says that the man that has a child with the heathen woman, uh, it becomes hard because the child is fighting between two gods. Right, but, uh, yeah, they, right, they're, they're, so, right, or, they're or unclean, but that can be any race. Let me show you something else. Let me, I think I understand what you're trying to say. Let me show you this, and then hopefully that clears it up. Watch this Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 23. In those days, also saw, saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab, and their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod. So they speak half in the speech of Ashdod, right? So imagine, let me ask you, what's your name? Uh, Kelvin. Kelvin? Yes, imagine, Kelvin, if you had half the intellect that you have right now. You have half the, the you, you can... You can't articulate yourself, but half of what you can right now. Just half, right? Come on. And could not speak in the Jews' language. And the leaders or the teachers that should be teaching and instructing you, you can't understand at all. So you speak half of whatever it is that you speak, and you can't stand wisdom at all. Read. But according to the language of each people. But according to the language, so you speak half of what your mother, whatever your mother is. Just half. Come on. And I contended with them, and cursed them, and smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons. So, namely, the first thing, I don't want to go too far before we establish this. So, what was the condition of the child? That he was uh, only learning half of each other's culture. He was the stuck, child was stupid. Stuck, stu okay. The child was stupid. Cause the child. Yeah, because you don't know the whole. Right. He don't know the whole of whatever it is he is taught. Neither can he understand his teacher. Okay. So the father is the teacher, right or wrong? Right. Right. So if he can't understand the, te the the father at all, but he only understands half of the heathen, what is that child? Stupid. Stupid. So Nehemiah thus said. We rebuilding Jerusalem. We just coming out of captivity. We still in captivity. We've been given liberty to rebuild our people, to rebuild the walls in Jerusalem. The last thing we need is some stupid SH to be happening. These children, they ain't going to be small forever. They going to grow up. And those children will strengthen who they understand. Who do they understand? The heathen. They understand it a little bit, but they understand. Yeah. And they don't understand daddy at all. So these children, all these children y'all been making with the heathen, they're going to grow up. And then you're going to have a problem on your hands. 
we don't have time for that. You understand? That's why I said it's your decision to make. You understand? If if they, if this child begins to be an issue for your life and you repenting, because that's what I want you to be asking me about. How do you repent? No, no, I, right? I, but but I get you. It's a good question. Yeah, no, it's a good question. I'm not gonna sit here. Yeah. I'm not gonna come before you and act like I don't understand scripture. Yeah. Like I said, even before Geno Jennings, I always read, but I never understood. Yeah. Right? This is a person that can't spell, right? All this stuff, but when it comes to scripture, God allows me to yeah. read it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I couldn't quite get it. Mm. But then you know Bishop Nathaniel and Captain Galilee and mm. you guys, right? Mm. And uh, right, then I'm listening to the music, right? Uh, and then I'm and then one day it's like God, in the spirit. It's like yeah. it's like God just Mm. Yeah. yeah. All of us, bro. As I, as I was having a child, yeah. I was sitting there like, wait a minute. Time out. Hold on. So, this is the beginning, the middle, and the end of the world, right? Yeah. yeah. It's all in here, right? I start seeing names like Caesar Bougier, ah, uh, ah, uh, right? Yeah. Like King Herod, yeah. Nimrod, and all that. Start looking it up. I'm like, oh my goodness, what? Yeah. And then, even though the world tells you, Good job. Right. You you a man. Right. Take care of your kids. Ah ah ah. Right. All this and then mm -hmm. come to find out. Where you from? You from New York? I'm from Florida. I know oh, because I was in New York okay. for 15 years. So. Okay. So that's ah ah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, made truth be told, it's not a bad woman. Yeah. Right. But yeah. what God says is it, it what it goes. It is what it and is. And it hurts right. my heart, so I know it's real. No. Yeah. 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 And changing, changing, changing is it, it, is never easy. It's okay. just required. It's necessary, but it's ne it's never easy. Okay, let me ask you. You know, question. yeah. So let me show you this first. Okay. Watch this. Just to give you some compass for some things that you were thinking. You said you were thinking. James chapter four verse four. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? So, like you said, it's 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 you're not really encountering any issues doing what you know is evil to God. In the world, is is is. Congratulations, it's good job, it's it's celebration, right? But that very thing is how you know you're doing the right thing. That's that's how you know. That hardship is how you know. You understand? Read. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world, whosoever therefore will be agreeable to the things that this world sets up, come on, is the enemy of God. Is the enemy of God. So although you may be studying, you may be learning, you may be, you know, like you say, you listen to us, uh, bishop, captain, uh, all that you learning and all that you're doing, right? If you can't go against the world, it's all for nothing. It's a, you out of there. It's all for nothing. God said, go out and teach my people their sins. He ain't even say, tell them what they're doing good. <laughs> he ain't say that. Okay. He said, show my people their transgressions. And don't care about their feelings. Okay. So that's what we do. So, that's all we get. We don't get. You're going straight there. You're going. You're not though. Yeah, but you are. We don't do that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But, because I know some good people and like they died, right? But they, they, wasn't, they wasn't believing this. Okay. So, 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 so what so, made so, them good? I'm not saying that's what made them good. I'm saying. No, I'm asking you what made them good. Okay. You said they were some good people. I like how you did that. That's very smooth. I'm just asking. Okay. <laughs> well. I'm gonna do it how y'all do it. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go to the scripture. Yeah. What is what God say it is? I appreciate. So, so that. I know it's not what yeah. they say it is. Yeah. But I guess if I had to say on a worldly, yeah. Right. Yeah. Honest person. Yeah. Looked out for me. Right. I was starving. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Somebody helped me out. Mm -hmm. But when I started learning about the truth, and I started realizing that the people that die without dying in the truth. Mm -hmm. They out of there, huh? Dope niggas give out turkeys on Thanksgiving. But I'm asking, <laughs> but I'm Dope niggas okay. feed babies. Nino Brown. Nino Brown oh, throw, yeah, throw right. money in the street for right. poor people. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So what yeah, we okay, consider I, good ain't what God is is categorizing as far as who we gonna destroy and who he ain't. What he uh, keeping the commandments. That's Romans seven and twelve. Okay. Yeah. Another yeah. I think it's John 9, verse 31. It says that God does, doesn't hear sinners. Right. Correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So somebody that's working on repentance, wouldn't that person would have to pray? Yes. So, go to, go, 
Go to Acts, I mean, I'm sorry, not Acts. First Kings 8, I'm going to show you. So it's a process to that, right? Okay. So, because that was a good question. Yeah. Like, how do you begin to, to fix yourself? Okay, so as you learn. Like I'm, uh, as the scripture says, uh, don't say too many words to God. Sometimes I just feel yeah. like I'm babbling because I understand that God does not hear a sinner's prayer. But I know I want to stop what I'm doing because I'm not trying to get smoked. We'll start with telling on yourself. You got to snitch on you first. But what a lot of people do is they, they, they make excuses to the Lord like he's not God. They'll say, you know, um, help me, you know, get this better job. You know, I had to do some things that wasn't. He ain't a nigga. That's God. You ain't talking to no dude up the block. That's God. He watched your black self go and steal, go and rob, sell dope to your people. He watching you do all of that. And you going to come to him like that? No, what he wants you to do is confess your faults. Don't talk about nobody else. Say how evil you are. And don't forget nothing. Don't leave nothing out. I'm going to show you in the Bible, though. Watch this. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near yet if they shall be think themselves so that's the point that you say that you got to you be thinking you're like ah, i shouldn't be doing this right where do i start now to get right with god right watch this yet if they shall be think themselves in the land whether they were carried captives and repent and repent. Watch this. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carry them captives. So you bethink yourself and you repent. I got to stop doing this. I am i can't do this no more. So I'm giving you the one, even the step you, one. Even though you're actively doing it. Listen, so what you praying about? No, well, because. What you praying about? You because, know what you're doing? You're provoking God. So that's, that's what, what you're is. doing. You're tempting the Lord. But, when you but, know that what you're doing is wrong, well, you and then you're praying to him to stop it, and you won't stop doing what but, you're but, doing, but, you're tempting the Lord. Okay. All right. But Let me finish this. Okay. Hold on. Let me finish this. Come on. Saying, we have sinned. Saying what? Saying, we have sinned. Now, that don't mean that's all you say before the Lord. We have sinned. No, you say what your, what your sin, what you do. What you do? We get James next. But what you do? I want God want to know exactly what you because you know it's something about saying it's something about telling on yourself. It's something about saying, no, I'm an idolater. I'm a thief. I'm a liar. I watch porn. To, it's something about saying that. Then you say it to God, how you gonna go do it again? You understand? How you gonna go do it again? Do you understand what I'm saying? I do understand what now, you're saying. Okay, listen. We have sinned uh -huh. and have done perversely. That's how you know you got to be you got to be uh, 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 specific in details when you're talking to God. We have done perversely. Meaning, go through what that was. Yeah, what was that perverseness that you did? What, what, what was on your? What was you thinking when you did it? What was? You got to talk to the Lord like that. Don't come fake because He already know. Imagine that. He already know. How you gonna leave something out? Come on. We have committed wickedness uh -huh. and so return unto thee with all their heart. So you got to confess all of that. You got, first of all, you got to repent. Bethink yourself, repent, meaning stop doing what you're doing. Repent means to change. That's what it means. Then when you've done that, you pray to the Father. This is what I did. I'm guilty of this. I know what you said. And I know this boom, 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 right? And then return unto the Lord with all your heart, meaning what? With all your mind. Now your actions are no longer wicked and perverse. Now you return into the Lord with your mind, with your spirit. You'd have confessed all the wickedness and perverseness that you've done. And I'm going to show you how deep that get. Read on. And with all their soul uh -huh. in the land of their enemies, uh -huh. which led them away captive, uh -huh. which taught you all the sin you know, which show you and make you feel good and make you feel comfortable in all the sin you in. Come on. And pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their father. Pray toward the east, or pray toward Jerusalem if you're over in the, in, the, in the western part of Jerusalem. If you're on the eastern part of Jerusalem, the point is to pray toward Jerusalem. Come on. The city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou their prayer. After all of that is done, that's when the Lord will hear your prayers. 
That's when the prayers of the wicked are not abomination to God. That's when. But don't come fake to God. He ain't faking and he ain't playing. So you come and tell him what you think he don't. Now, it's some, if it's some things that you know, he even want to hear you say, forgive me for the things I don't know I did. That's how we got to come to the Father. That's what it means to return to him with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. That's what that means. It ain't just a bunch of words vainly put in the Bible. Okay. Hold on one more. James. The book of James, chapter 5, verse 16. No. Confess your faults. The Bible says you got to confess your faults. Yours. If you're an idolater, I did idolatry, and this is why I got down on my knees, and I was talking to a Bukadusha God or something, and I burned this, and I killed a, a chicken, and I did. You got to say all of that to God. You got to say, if you mean what you're saying, yeah, go ahead and confess it. Go ahead and confess it. Yeah, it's going to be hard, but you better do it. If you're ashamed, it's going to be hard. But you better tell God what you did. That's what it means to confess, right? Watch this. Read it again. Confess your faults one to another. Watch this. And pray one for another on. that ye may be healed. So if you are not confessing your faults, you will not be healed. You will not be healed. Now, when they say confess your faults one to another, that don't mean come out on the corner and tell everybody which the sin you in. But you have to be, you have to, like, you here today now, all praise to the Most High. This is a show of repentance. You have to congregate. You have to congregate. We're not meant to be, we wasn't created to be by ourselves. That's right. We learned that as a condition of slavery. That's a curse. To be scattered. To be individuals. To be separated. That's a curse. So now we're comfortable doing it, but that's we weren't made to be like that. So you need to have a teacher. You need to have a leader, as all men do. And to that leader, to that counselor, hey, look, I'm in the midst of I need, I need help. What do I do? Show me the scripture, how to, how to fight this demon that's on me. That's what we got to do. Or you just play in church. All of us. That's what all of us got to do. You understand? Ain't nobody got no better way, and they, for them, it's like, this. no, all of us. It's who that applies to. Go ahead. It may sound like a silly question, but no, no, no. Just ask. I, I wanted to be silly, you know what I mean? And uh, so, if you're trying to say, if you're truly not ready for it, you shouldn't even be talking to God. No, if you don't play with God. I don't even know. What's the point of confessing if like you playing with like, no, cause, cause you think you ready, but then you right, you wake up, right, you up in the morning, uh, oh, oh, oh new day. Is you try is you, is you trying? I'm not yes. saying I'm not if so if so if you're so if you're trying, then you better not be lying with about that. That's that's all I'm gonna tell you. I, I can't tell you, you know, well you ain't really try what I can say is keep the commandments. That's what I can say. That's right. I can't get into it with you if how hard you trying or how hard you ain't trying. I don't care to. You know. So I'm saying if, if, if your walk, don't play with God. That's all I'm saying. And the Bible tells you, we just went through what you got to do, the processes and steps. Don't add nothing into that now and say, well, I hear that, but with that, this is my situation. You ain't got no situation. God said what he said, and that's it. You understand? So that's what I'm going to tell you. Right? Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. God said he know what you do. We, that's what we think. We think that we hide something. We go in and pray, and nobody listening. And we say, God, I'm evil. I did bad. Please forgive me. God said he know your works. What do you think you hiding from him? Confess your faults. Say what you did. That's called repentance. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.
Salvation is you.